Well, hi there. I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I have some really cute little shaped cards to share with you today. I saw this really cute die set from Honey Bee, and a friend of mine is really into campers and trailers, and I texted to her and I said, wouldn't this be cute if you did one in a fall theme and one in a Christmas theme, etc. And I couldn't stop thinking about it, so I had to go buy it for myself <laughs> and try it. So I've used my little new snippers. I finally got a pair of snippers instead of trying to like use my old wrecked scissors. I have a pair of scissors that I had dedicated to trying to tear apart all my dies and I finally treated myself to getting actual snippers and they're in the supply list if you too have been without snippers for your whole life because yeah that's me. Anyway I used cotton balls and a little bit of white ink it's pigment ink from Lawn Fawn to make clouds you can do this on any kind of card with blue cardstock to make some cute and happy clouds. And the die set for this is really easy to put together. There's some die sets where you have to sort of figure out which piece goes with which one, but it's super easy. And you can always just go to their website and find like really simple pictures of what the whole thing looks like assembled. It's really not hard at all. The only thing that I found that didn't fit completely perfect is the outside frame of the door it has to be sort of glued on top because it doesn't nestle in quite right. And which is not a problem. It's just a matter of figuring out how to use the connect glue to glue that on top. And then the window curtains don't nestle in either. So the frame of the window sits on top of those, but otherwise looks great. So then I, after I finished the little cloud one, which I thought was so cute, I went made one with hearts. So this could be a really cute Valentine for uh, the season coming ahead. Can you believe like it's already the onslaught of fall and then Christmas cards and then it's going to be Valentine's Day before we know it, which is crazy. And I'm never ready for Valentine's Day. I never seem to have cards since I sort of get lost in the whole Christmas shuffle. So it's kind of nice to know that now I will have one ready of all of these. But it, this little set has a little stair to put on in front of the door and it has a little awning that you can put on and you can use them or not use them. You can decorate these all different kinds of ways. If I had patterned paper, which I tend not to buy because I don't tend to use it, then you could use patterned paper on these. They would be really cute. But I decided to just use stamps to make some little patterns. And this one I cut a strip to just put another stripe on my little white panel. So I could make one for 4th of July with all its lovely red, white, and blue. And there's, just think of all the different ways you can embellish these and decorate them up, how cute they'd be. And then I had to come up with one for, of course, Halloween, since we're getting toward that portion of the season. I'm just about done, I think, with Halloween cards because I don't send very many out and I don't have a need for very many, but I think I've done my share at this point. I think my stash overfloweth. But I decided to draw in some spider webs. So I drew some in in black pen and I drew some in in white pen. I probably somewhere in my stash have a little spider web types of stamps. I don't really know since I don't get a whole lot of Halloween stuff in my stash, but it's kind of fun. Uh, just a note for you, the white pen, if it stops working, if it sort of skips, it really looks like a spider web. So save your half dead white pens for making spider webs because that works really great. <laughs> for the spring one, I decided I wanted little flowers on it and pattern paper would have been better, but instead I drew my own little flowers on there. Just made little blobs and then made just little quick marker strokes for leaves on each one and kept it really simple through a little white pen in the center and just kind of made it seem like it was a little bit of pattern paper since I didn't have any. There you go. Who needs to buy it when we can make it, right? We just draw or stamp our own. Put all my little pieces back together on this one as well. And by the time I'm all done, I'm going to have a whole lot, a whole lot of RVs, like a little parking lot full of them because I have so many of these. 
So they're really fun to assemble. This one is going to be a Christmas themed one. And just think of all the little Christmas decorations you can add to this. You can add sequins and lights and all sorts of stuff. You can put a sentiment on the front. I saw some samples of people that had used like a die cut sentiment just on the front, zipped across the whole front of the card, uh, which was kind of nice. I'm going to leave sentiments on the inside of the card. And yes, I'm going to show you how to make the shaped cards. I took the card base, folded it in half so the, the crease is at the top, and then hung the die over the edge. So then I could die cut it and then add the front of it, uh, the front of the design on there, and then I only have a little bit sticking up over the top so that it's an opening card and it also stands up nicely, which is kind of awesome. So there you go. My whole little parking lot full of cute little uh, trailers, little campers. Aren't they adorable? So if you're interested in any of the supplies used for making these, then check it all out in the doobly-doo or over on the blog if you'd like to see individual ones and pin them so you remember how I decorated them for the different seasons. And I will see you guys again very soon. Have a great day. Go make something beautiful. Bye-bye.